Hello, my name is Aaron Graber, Product Development Specialist with Ventrac. Today I'm going to talk about weight transfer system. Traction control is the primary feature of weight transfer. What this system allows users to do is transfer ground force from the front attachment to the front axle of the tractor. The primary benefit of this is for additional traction and stability while mowing on extreme slopes. Additionally, proper use of the weight transfer system increases maneuverability of the tractor when mounted to some attachments. First, I'll explain how to set the weight transfer system. Fully raise the front attachment using the SDLA lever. Next, select your weight transfer setting from 0 to 4. 0 being no weight transfer, 4 being the maximum weight transfer. Once you've selected a setting, lower your attachment back to the ground using the SDLA lever and put it in float. For weight transfer to be fully effective, the front attachment needs to be in float while using mower decks or any other attachment that makes constant ground contact. These are the components of the Ventrac weight transfer system. If we rotate the hitch arms all the way up, it allows us to adjust weight transfer and put it into a setting like this where it would be maximum. By then using the front hitch arm, when we rotate it down, it pulls on the spring, creates tension, and transfers force away from the front attachment to the axle. We're going to measure the ground force at three different points on the tractor. The deck, the front axle, and rear axle. We'll do that first with weight transfer disengaged, and then we'll follow it up with weight transfer engaged to show the differences and how it changes. To recap what we showed today through our experiment, we were able to transfer 233 pounds away from the front attachment to the front axle of the tractor. Also, that's equivalent of 54% of the front attachment and netted us 446 pounds additional ground force on the front axle, or 49% as compared to the front axle without weight transfer on. That's a huge increase and it's especially important when you're operating on slopes or in other circumstances where you need all the traction and control you can get. This increase in traction is especially important when navigating side slopes. Without weight transfer engaged, the attachment tends to pull the tractor down the slope. By shifting ground force from the attachment to underneath the front axle, traction, braking, and side slope security are vastly improved. Weight transfer's biggest benefit is realized during slope operation. Always operate with the primary SDLA lever in the float position to allow the mower deck to follow the terrain. By partially or fully disengaging weight transfer, the rear roller of the mower deck will have greater contact force on the ground, which increases the striping effect. Weight transfer can also be used to minimize the downforce of attachments with scraping edges such as blades and snowblowers. This minimizes scratches on paved surfaces or gouging in gravel driveways. Using full weight transfer with the power bucket will allow the tractor to lift more weight. Remember that not all Ventrac attachments require weight transfer to be on or fully engaged. Depending on the condition, some attachments do best in a setting in between. Thank you for taking the time today to learn about the Ventrac weight transfer system. 